Next on your team is a soils engineer, sometimes called a geotechnical engineer. This guy can help you from buying a lot that's unbuildable and can help prevent major settlement issues down the road. I worked with a customer once that had this huge sports memorabilia collection. It was unbelievable. His vision was to build a man cave with fully stocked bar, big screen TV with theater seating, and a monster display case for his favorite items. Needless to say, this house had to have a basement. He couldn't wait to get started. So we scout out the site, and our soils engineer informs us there's solid rock two feet down from the surface. This requires either blasting or a special machine to chisel out the rock for the foundation. Not only do you need to remove the rock from the location of the foundation, but you also need to put it on a truck and haul it away. We pulled rocks the size of small cars out of the excavation. This particular excavation should have cost $1,000 and instead cost $25,000 due to the rock. As you can see, it's probably a good idea to talk to your soils engineer before you purchase your lot. They may have already done test borings on the site, especially if the lot is in a subdivision. Typically, developers and builders perform test borings of a given property prior to developing to make sure there are no major issues below ground that will make construction expensive. The test borings consist of drilling down 8 to 10 feet every so often and analyzing the soil makeup. So, if your lot's in a subdivision, check with the developer to see which soils engineer they used on the project. Then, you can contact the engineer directly to see if they did the test borings anywhere near your lot. You can always ask the developer for this kind of information too. Just keep in mind, you may not want to rely too much on this information if they're the ones selling the lot. I'm not saying that people aren't trustworthy, I'm just saying, do your homework. Another role of the soils engineer will be to visit the site after excavation and before footings to make sure the soil will properly support the home. This quick check with the soil probe can save a world of headaches in the future. There are times when a section of unsuitable material may need to be cut out to prevent uneven settlement. Even if you have your builder consultant review the site and he thinks it's okay, I would still spend the money on the engineer's soil check. Building a home on unsuitable soil can cost an absolute fortune to fix later. This quality check cost me $250 a house, and in my opinion, it's money well spent. So, where do you find a good soils engineer? The local building department can usually recommend one. You could also check with your local home builders association, real estate brokers, developers, or of course, your builder consultant.